at six, a Broward teenager charged with throwing a 68 year old woman in a pool appears before a judge. A date is set for a plea in the case. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live in North Lauderdale where this happened. And Peter, you spoke with the teen's mother. What is she saying about all this? Well, Ellie, if the mother actually turned her son in after this incident happened and in court this afternoon, a judge commended her for doing that. Now, she told us that her son is remorseful, that she feels terrible about what happened. All of this was captured on videotape. Shakina Johnson says these are images that trouble her. Detectives say surveillance tape shows her son picking up 68-year-old Nancy James. They both fall to the ground, then he drags her to the pool and tosses her in, all while a crowd cheers. Her son, Leon Balfour Joseph, came before a judge as she spoke out. I'm very hurt, uh, upset, you know, at the circumstances or whatever, because I didn't raise my son to do that. I don't know what happened or whatever, but right now, my main concern is the victim make sure she's doing well and Leon at this point. Nancy James is a board member at the Players Place Complex in North Lauderdale. She says this happened when the music at an unauthorized social media pool party got too loud. She walked to the pool with her dogs to ask them to turn down the music. You can see her leash pets. One is nearly dragged into the water with her. In court, Circuit Judge Elijah Williams commended Johnson for turning in her son. I think every parent should set their role model. I mean, you want your kids to listen to you, but you have to be that example. Shakita Johnson's son, who is now 17, is charged with battery on a person 65 years or older. He plans to take a plea. The judge set July 11th for a plea date. Any idea what the plea is going to be at this point? Well, we're in the process of negotiating. It hasn't been finalized yet, so we'd like to go ahead and finish that up. Balfour Joseph's attorney did not allow him to speak, but his mother and attorney both insist he regrets what happened. She's very remorseful. He was at the time when I initially turned him in. He wanted to immediately contact the victim to apologize to her, you know, to let her know that he's very sorry. Because of the pending plea, James did not want to respond, but she has spoken before to us. He should be having like some kind of psychiatric care to find out, well, why would you do something like this? Now, Shakita Johnson's son is charged as a juvenile. She actually comes in contact with a lot of crime stories in her job. It says she has a lot of sympathy for victims. She works in the 911 call center for Miami Police as a supervisor. We're live in North Lauderdale, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. All right, Peter, thanks a lot.